Good morning, fellow ops and traders. This is Jeff, and this is the Daily Scan for Monday, May 12th, 2014. All right. Um, announcements from Friday were not out of line, and there actually were not any market affecting announcements. And we only have one today, and that's Treasury budget at 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, quickly moving over to the futures across the pond Asia was pretty solid uh, bullish with a couple of red ones here but if they were bullish they were very much bullish and in Europe pretty much bullish across the board with green numbers almost everywhere in the US Let's go to the U.S. Our futures here are looking slightly positive, so we may open up this morning. And gold is up five dollars overnight to twelve ninety-two. It's not helping my covered call here at all. You know, I'm looking to um, possibly get into a June here at one thirty-four, but there's no money in it. <laughs> it's <laughs> driving me crazy. Uh, and oil is at $100 and some change, up 24 cents overnight. Okay, uh, last week, let's, we'll do a review of last week. Let me uh, bring up my spreadsheet here. All right, here we go. Um, we had that Russell, which was a 20 Delta. We closed that one early on Friday for a tidy little profit. Chipotle was a loser. Netflix was a big loser. Amazon... Uh, I think Amazon was... Oops, I think Amazon also was a 20 Delta trade. Let's, let me just check here. Uh, let's see. No, it wasn't. It was not. So I uh, closed it early on Friday, and then it moved backwards. So that's why that one was so small. Uh, Q's definitely was a 20 Delta and F5 Networks. Let's take a look at F5. Yes, that was a 20 Delta. We closed that one early. And take the money when you uh, don't want to hold over the weekend like I don't like to do. And you're just a little bit shaky about what might happen. And you're at a decent profit level. Just get the heck out. Take the money and run. Know when to hold them and know when to fold them. As uh, Kenny Rogers might say or has said in the past. I digress though. But anyway, uh, overall here the week was eh, not spectacular but pretty good. And the win-loss ratio is uh, staying up there pretty high. So that is always a good thing. Okay, so we're done with that one. Now I wanted to talk just a tad about a plus list. Um, I decided that I am going to remove, I'll keep DIA in here, but I'm going to remove IWM. So I'll just delete that. And I am going to remove the Qs, delete that. And SPY. And I'm going to add SPX. NDX. And rut, which I think is rut here. Yes, rut is here already. Okay, I'm just going to put the cash indexes in there because uh, there's just uh, for weeklies, for um, 20 deltas, which is what I do on the indexes, there's no money. So this way at least there'll be some money in there. And then the last thing that 
I wanted to mention before we move on to our open positions in the A plus list is uh, last week I mentioned something about uh, FINRA that I had heard about and how they're going to be uh, supposedly spying on trading activity right down to uh, the small time retail tra trader like myself and uh, it's true if you extrapolate what they're asking for in the document that they put out at I think it was the end of last year uh, on how they want to make sure that the uh, playing field is leveled by watching everybody. So uh, what this could end up meaning is um, uh, brokers are going to have to add software to their platforms that is going to monitor all trading activity and feed the data to FINRA. Real time ladies and gentlemen so uh, can you imagine now FINRA is not necessarily a government organization it's sort of a self-policing organization but I think it definitely has some very heavy uh, government connections so the next step of course would be that the NSA taps into that like they tap into everything and pretty soon the whole world of elitist government people know exactly who's trading what in almost real time or possibly real time which is probably part of the reason why they built that huge data center out in where was that no not Nevada um, somewhere out west uh, someplace where you know nobody's gonna pay any attention to it but people do pay attention to it, but they go, oh, wow, well, that's the government. So I am going to put some links in the text part of today's video, and you can go ahead and check them all out yourself. I have the actual document from uh, FINRA, and also have some other websites who have commented on it, including the Porter Stansbury video that was really an Alex Jones interview with Porter Stansberry and you may want to watch that because Porter Stansberry you know some he's a little bit out there but he's got a big organization and he's kind of an important guy so you'll want to uh, just take a look at that and you can judge for yourself I'm not going to really say anything more about it unless it gets worse all right, so that's it for that part of it. Now, we currently have um, Baidu. We'll take a look at the, these as we go through the A-plus list. Um, but we currently have uh, Iron Condor and Baidu and a couple of bull puts on TLT and UMP. And then, of course, our gold-covered call. So we'll be looking at those as we go through the A-plus list. Switch over to our Analyze tab and bring up the risk profile so we can see what we actually have going on out there in live trades. We're looking at all accounts. All right, right, let's. we're ready to rock and roll. All right, Apple. I have a little bit more cushion here. Um, Apple, we're down here, and this actually, no... This is a setup. It's not alertable yet. We're not green here. But we have Apple in a setup, and it looks like as though uh, it's going to work out for today. Okay. Uh, Amazon. Nothing live right now. Um, this one paid off a little bit last week, so we can get rid of all of our drawings here. Just to make sure that the past is clean. And now we're waiting for our next target, which would be up here. Downtrend. Nice clean move up. That's what we need. An all green move up. And we're ready to go on that one. And here we have Boeing. Uh, failed us here. 
but that's okay. That means all we do is just move it over and wait for it to come down again. Not uh, strong enough here at the moment for a 50 delta. We'll be looking at a 20 delta on it. I'll delete that one. Baidu, we're in uh, Iron Condor here and we're not sure exactly where it's going to open this morning but we did a 20 delta on it because we just did not have um, the momentum and the price action you know is kind of hanging around this downtrend here on the 50 SMA so we decided back here to do a 20 delta and here we said well let's do Let's condorize it by doing a 20 delta on the put side. So we're waiting for that one. And actually what that did was almost double the whole, the, pos the winning part of this trade. So we're looking at, um, at 465 profit and max thousand dollar loss. So this has turned it into almost a 50 delta trade or a one to one trade. All right, uh, so that's that one. Celgene, we're still in. No, we're not in Celgene anymore. Why is it? Is it on the monitor? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, Celgene, we had a 20 delta on it, and we exited that one very early last week. So I am going to delete all drawings and we're going to look for another 20 delta if we get a move up here into this area we'll turn that one yellow to indicate that it is a 20 delta and uh, 20 delta you know I sort of have rules on 20 delta but Celgene because it is a drug company <laughs> um, had my little fingers burnt on this a couple of times so I decided that there's plenty of premium in this, so I'm doing 20 deltas. All right, Chipotle. Let's get rid of this. Chipotle, we got burnt on, I believe. Yes, we did. So we are no longer in this one. We're going to delete all drawings, and we will be looking again to enter this. This, of course, would be a 50 delta just because the price is so far away from this moving average, it's going to start bending down. Okay, Costco. Ah, yes, Costco. We are in a setup here on Costco. Very flat average here. Um, earnings coming up end of the month uh, let's just do a 20 delta on this and when I do a 20 delta I usually do it uh, with an expiration a couple weeks out so I'm putting them in as a 20 delta that would be a bear call so I'm going to change this to uh, yellow All right, and we'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Chevron. All right, we have a setup on Chevron, and that would be a 50 delta. Now it's not real strong because we only got up to 70 here, and you can tell price action wise it's not real strong either. So I may consider a 20 delta on this one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put like another circle in here. Oval 2. And change that one to yellow. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do here. So it turns out looking kind of light yellowish. So I'm not sure. 
Okay, we'll look at DIA not as a trading entity necessarily, but definitely to see what's going on with the overall market. Let's go here to charts. And we'll just, uh, we can't zoom out anymore on this one. I'm going to go to a single chart here. And let's go to weekly. Take a look over a longer period of time here. Um, boing, 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 huh? Really uh, banging up against us. Just cannot get past this point of resistance here. It could be interesting. Now, is it going to make a strong move? I mean, if you get a nice big fat candle above here, or a long one, I should say, that's a good strong indicator that the market is going to move into another leg up or not. I guess we'll find out what happens this week, what the candle's going to look like. All right, uh, back to the Analyze tab. Looking at the Dow, okay, I looked at it. We have resistance. Uh, not going to trade that. Igor, we have a setup, and a pretty nice setup actually. So that's a 50 delta for sure. And remember, we're going to want to wait until this afternoon before we jump in on these uh, 50 on the setups. We'll wait till later in the day on the setups. Make sure that the indicators are holding because they can change at any time during a trading day. If we put an alert on anything, I would consider doing that in the morning if the alert goes off right away. But wait till a half hour after the open. All right, FedEx. Uh, yeah, we uh, missed a nice sweet little 20 delta on this one last week. And now we are looking for another one, so we'll just drag this one over. We're getting a little bit of a curve up on this, but nice big fat candles, or long ones I should say. F5 Networks. We had a 20 delta on this. Let's delete all drawings and start over again. And put another yeller. Uh, this would be a. I would just go with the regular one on this. This is. It's getting a nice strong move in here. But it's in danger of falling off of our A plus list if it keeps moving down. Uh, gold, you know, I'm looking to do that covered call. And this is when I did the last one. So I'm looking for a nice sharp move up in the next, this week. Don't think at this point that I'm going to get it. Let's take a look at Google. Alright, we, this is good enough for a setup for me on Google. Because I want to get in on it. It's a nice move down here. So, I'm putting this one on my setup list. So be it. LinkedIn. All right, we still have this long put left over here. No, we don't. We have nothing. So this would, uh, it's still languishing, even though, yeah, I kind of moving down. Yeah, we have a setup on LinkedIn. Let's get rid of this. I don't want to, I don't want any memories of that earnings play. Um, we have a setup on LinkedIn. That would be on the bear call side. 3M. I uh, didn't quite come down here and catch, so we're moving it over. Try it again. NDX. And what do we have here? Um, we're going to put 
a target up here to see if we could jump in on this. And uh, what kind of volume do we have for the weeklies as far as open interest is concerned? Eh, it's not exactly pretty, but it's kind of a widespread here. But like I mentioned on Russell, I was uh, or on Rut, um, it's getting filled pretty quickly on it, so I was pretty happy about it. So that's that's okay with me. So to get back here, we have a target set up here, and we're gonna wait to see if we can get up there and catch it. Netflix um, got a little fried on that one, so let's delete all drawings. Oops. I didn't delete all drawings. I said I was going to and I didn't do it. Alright, and now we're back here for a new target. Priceline. Let me go back here and get rid of this simulated trade here. Priceline. I'm going to here. Alright, uh, we have a target set here. We're waiting for it to come there. Russell. Delta last week worked out sweet. We had 20 Delta the week before on the bull put side, and here we had a bear call, so we're just playing this wave in here with our 20 Deltas. Uh, let the price dictate, and our indicators tell us what we should be doing. Um, so it did jump in on this one on this particular day here, perhaps a tad bit early. No. It was on time. It was a good one. And now we're looking at the possibility of a 20 delta. This is alertable on the bull put side. So I'm going to throw an alert in here. And we pick last because we want it to actually trade. So we're at or what are we looking at here? above yeah at or above 1107 let's make it 1108 there and if it triggers us then we're going to get in here with a 20 delta uh, four Maybe next week's expiration. What would, what would we be looking at here with the 20 delta? 19 delta. We get a dollar 45 on that. And our short would be at 1070, which would be way down here. I think we would be pretty good with that one. All right. And SPX, what do we got going there? Uh, wah, 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 wah. Doesn't really tell us anything here. What should we be looking for? We should be looking for something down here, and that would be a 20 delta. Okay, TLT, we're in. TLT with a couple of trades, a um, couple of 20 deltas. We are ready to do another one here. So I'm gonna change that to yellow. So we have a setup to get in again on TLT. With another 20 delta. So if we get a little hookup, we're going for it. Tesla. Uh, Tesla, we're still waiting for it to figure out what it's going to do. UMP, we are in UMP with a 20 delta. I could change this to yellow too, just uh, so we have some consistency. And we're looking to possibly condorize it here. Well, it might be too late to condorize this thing with this expiration. 
I would I would be willing to bet the price would be way too close here. So we would be looking for um, an expiration at least out here or maybe the following Friday, which would be out here on 5.30 or so if we're going to go in with a bear call at 20 delta. So just keep playing both sides of this as long as price is just not doing anything here. So it would not be an iron condor because it would have different expirations. So I'm putting them down as a 20 delta. And that would of course be a bear call. And last but not least is Visa. Uh, Visa, we are in... Oh, no. Am I going to disregard this? It's uh, totally against my rules. I don't... I'm, uh, if I was to follow the rules exactly, I cannot count this because we have a red uh, line change color here, so we cannot count this. And it's just marching, marching, marching. So, um, we may have a trend reversal here. I'll leave this here just as a discussion point, but I don't think that uh, it's tradable right now. So Visa is not tradable. Just keep an eye on it. Okay, so uh, not bad timing-wise for all the things that we talked about. So everybody have a great Monday. Uh, thank you very much for watching and happy trading.